Hey, what's going on? So uh, today I'm gonna be going back to dredge number six and check it out. It's been uh, a year since I've been over there. We had to uh, cut it short last year. We are there and uh, we found some gold and we're gonna go back with tools, but um, we couldn't go back. The, the gate was locked and uh, we couldn't get in there with the car. But today, uh, today I got a four wheeler. Uh, this is uh, Vernon's four wheeler. He's gonna let me use it. I have a little bit extra time today. Um, we finished dredging early. We had some problems, so we came back to do maintenance, but uh, I got the rest of the day off, so uh, yeah, this is Nome Harbor here. Pretty much everyone's out, usually the Myrtle and um, the Rose is over there. Uh, there's some of the smaller dredges, uh, not too many here today, but um, most of them went out. They might be staying out tonight, but uh, we're gonna go dredging tomorrow. So I have a couple hours I wanna get out there, see if I can find some gold today on uh, dredge six. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna, I'm just gonna go check it out because I haven't been there a year. I have no idea if I can get to it. Maybe the wood planks are gone. Uh, maybe it's flooded out. It's been raining a lot. So the pond might be full. I might not be able to get there. So first thing, I'm just gonna take that uh, ATV and just see if I can get to dredge six. If I can, I'm gonna come back, grab some tools and uh, let's see what's over there. Oh yeah, and here's, uh, this is the gold ship. This is the Wild Ranger uh, gold ship. This is the boat I'm staying on. I, I stay on this all summer long. It's just me on here. Uh, unless when we go out, then everyone's on there. But uh, why we're here in town, it's just me. Nice. All right. All right, let's go. Beach, no camping, no sword, $100 fine for friends, blah, 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 laws, laws, laws. So this right here, this is what they call a beach crawler. So that thing just kind of goes out into the ocean, maybe like, um, I don't know, eight feet or so, about eight feet deep. He goes right in the surf here, and uh, he just excavates and puts it in the hopper and uh, the sluice box, and, you know, I don't know, it's a pretty cool idea. I think they made a lot of uh, gold with these things. The problem with these things though is if you, you're scooping a big hole in the water, the sand just keeps on funneling. And sometimes these things, the, the funnel will just kind of go underneath the machine and they fall in. So these are pretty dangerous. Uh, they might even be banned now because a couple of them fell in. I'm not sure. But this one's uh, this one's definitely not beach mining right now. So, All right, let's continue on down the beach. So this right here, this is a, a beach dredge. They just uh, wheel it into the, the surf and they just go real shallow, real close to the, the beach area because that's not really very ocean going. But uh, you see quite a bit of them. Uh, none of them are running today, but this is where I've been beach mining right here. This is my beach box. Um, I haven't been running in a few days because we've been dredging, but last week I was using this. I got an ounce of this thing in about a week, so these things uh, work pretty good. I get in the water up and over the berm. Right over here, this is where Alex beach mines. He's not here right now. Let's see if we can go down the beach and find him. That's Alex's spot. This is the beach box there. All right, let's go. Here's the road to uh, the dredge. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, there she is. That is a big dredge. See that baby. Are. No idea. Oh, these must have been uh, tractors to uh, hold the winches to move the dredge, I bet. That's what these are. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, wow, look at the tires. They're made of wood. They got bars on them. That's pretty cool. You don't see that every day. That's really neat. So yeah, I bet you these held the cables to move the dredge like back and forth or whatever. Just guessing, but that's what it looks like.
bridge looks sketchy, but we'll check it out. Oh, that don't look too bad. All right, we should be fine. Oh, maybe not. That's a little squishy. How about this one? Oh, not bad. All right, there we go. Except for the big cracks in it. All right, no problem. Let's go check out inside. Let's go check the sluices. So yeah, if you want to see uh, more of this dredge, I have a video, a whole tour on it. Right now, I'm just uh, checking to see if anyone hit those sluice boxes yet. All right, here it is. Let's see if they got torn up. No, they're not torn up. All right, cool, so these mats are not torn up, sweet. Which means, I'm gonna do it. So this first trip, I just wanted to come here, see if I could even get here, and uh, if someone had already hit my honey hole, which they didn't. So I'm thinking, um, here's the sluice boxes. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a bunch of sluice boxes right here. And all the material in this dredge came down here, and, and the bottom of here, and obviously they had mats probably on top of this mat, but this is the, the bottom mat, which is bolted. And as you can see, they probably took a big hose and just sprayed this whole, I don't know, it's probably like 35 feet long. And so they probably, when they did a clean up, just uh, sprayed it down. But look right here, you know, when they were spraying it, some of the gold probably went down into these uh, side of the mat here, which is bolted, so they don't remove this mat. So I'm gonna hope there might be, um, how much of fine gold underneath here. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some uh, some tools. I really need a generator and cutting wheel, but I don't have one. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the boat, grab some tools, and let's see if we can find something. Just got back to the boat here. Let's see what we can find for tools. Ooh, here's our dredge nozzle. It's an eight inch bad boy. Look how long this hose is. Goes all the way down the boat, all the way down and around. All the way this way, down to the sluice box. I don't know, I think it's like 55 feet or 60 feet of hose. A lot of hose when we're down there. All right, let's see what we got in here. Crowbar score. We'll take that for sure. Uh, let's see. Grinder, I know we got a grinder here, but the problem with the grinder is it's, uh, yeah, this is exactly what I need. This thing right here. Uh, the problem with this is it's 120 volt, which means I'm gonna have to bring a generator. So for generators, I got this big one that's way too big. This is a Honda 2000. It's kind of big. Here's uh, another 2000. But uh, maybe the small little guy. Look at this thing, so tiny. I don't know if this generator will run that. Start. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I'll run that, that uh, grinder. I don't know, that's a little generator to run this grinder. Let's see. With this grinder here, this little generator, I think we can cut those mats. Sick. Right, turn this off. I'm just gonna fill this full of fuel. All right, cool. So this is what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring this little tiny generator. I'm gonna bring this little uh, cutoff wheel. And once I get the mat off, I'm just gonna take a putty knife, scrape up what dirt I can, put it in this bucket. So super lightweight. Let's see if uh, just a little bit of time can get me some gold. Almost there. There it is. Let's see if we can get some gold today. Cool, made it here with all my tools. Number one's crowbar. Maybe I won't even need all this stuff, but uh, I'm gonna take it with me just in case. So I got my crowbar and tools, my little generator. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get that mat up. 
please don't fall, please don't fall. If I fall with all this stuff, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, that was a little scary. Oh, that board's cracked in the middle. All right, here we go. All right, first up, before I use power tools, I'm gonna try this uh, crowbar. Oh man, it's just a little bit too dark in here, is it? Oh, sorry that it's dark. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to get in there, sweet. I'm going for plan B here. The crowbar worked a little bit, but it's not breaking through that little bolt hole that's over here. Sorry, there's no light. But anyways, there's a bolt hole right there. I'm gonna take my whiz wheel and cut it. Gonna, Cause that crowbar, it's not uh, it's not breaking free. So, all right, I'm gonna start the jenny and cut it. Maybe it's not enough power. Oh, I'm gonna have to go really slow with one hand, so I'll get back to you on this job. So that little generator was a no-go. It did not work. It was uh, it, it, it was enough to start the power tool, but as soon as I put a load on it, it, uh, it died out. So too little of a jenny. I'll have to come back maybe with a bigger one. But for now, um, I'm able to get this little section right here. Look at this. Look at all that. It's just all like muck and dirt. Hopefully there's a lot of gold in it. We'll find out. I'm going to clean up this whole area. And I guess for today I'll just do this little sample. And if it's good enough, I'll come back tomorrow with uh, maybe a bigger Jenny. See if we can cut this. So there's a big, like, thick mat. This one right here. And this big, super thick mat is laying on top of another mat. And I just ripped that mat. And I found a whole bunch of pretty sand under this. All that, see? See down in there? So I've been scooping this sand up, just like this, and then chucking it in my bucket. And now I got a, it's only like a two gallon bucket maybe, something like that. Uh, I don't know, I probably have oh, nearly a gallon worth of material. Maybe a three quarters of a gallon worth of material. But I think that'll give me a good test. I did what I could today, my power tool didn't work. So I just kinda just used that, uh, Leatherman, the Leatherman actually cut this good, but I can't cut this. This is like so freaking hard to cut. So this is kind of a hard place to get to. So I don't want to come back with a big huge generator if I don't have to. This little one here, it didn't work. It was just too light, too light duty. So yeah, I just did this little tiny patch and there's quite a bit of this mat that keeps going down. And that's only one sluice box right here. And this is the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth. So as it goes down, the gold should get better and better and better because there's more sluice boxes. Back to the boat. We're going to find out if we got some gold in that bucket. Let's go find out. It's going to be exciting. Let's see what we got. Here I am back on the boat. So I just kind of cleaned up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is, since I have just such a little material, I'm just going to pan it. If I had more material, I'd break out that little... Um, this miracle sluice thing here but it's a pain in the butt to, to set up just for such a little bit all I'm gonna do is uh, I got this really big pan right here filled with water I'm gonna take this little pan right here put a little bit of material and just uh, pan it out so I have no idea if there's gold in here I mean I would su suspect there's gold in here uh, we tried a little test pan before and we got gold so I don't know this is either gonna be quite a bit of gold in here or a bust we'll see um, uh, I'll just take one, uh, one little scoop, take a little handful, there we go. So right away I'm just seeing, uh, I guess it's rust, just uh, like muddy, rusty water. Okay, I'm down to the bottom, a little swirl, oh, let me remove that piece of rust. Okay, so it's not crazy gold, but there's a couple hundred colors in there. Uh, take it over to the light. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, that's all uh, That's all gold right up in there. It's pretty cool. Well, there's a little bit of gold in there. So that was just a couple of little scoops. Let me, uh, let me do a few more pans and get back to you. 
Here's a halftime report. I panned about half that material. And let's see what we got so far. Oh, there it is. Let me get that big rock out of that. Oh, there it goes. Actually, you know, not too shabby. I was hoping for a lot more, but I mean, there's gold in there. That's all uh, gold up top there. Coming down right there. So, yeah, I mean, not too bad. I mean, I'm not rich, but uh, that was really fun. But I'm not giving up hope yet. That's, uh, that's halfway. Let's finish uh, the rest of the material and do a total here. This is it, the last pan. All right. Maybe we'll break the bank with the bottom of the barrel here. There it is there. I'm down to the bottom of the pan. I'm just going to put some fresh water in there to make it better to see. The water was really, really muddy. There we go. Some fresh water. Put that in there. Get this, all this stuff back down. And here we go, let's take a look. Here it is, the final bottom of the pan. So there's definitely gold in there, not a ton of gold. I thought it was gonna do much better. But even so, that was a fun adventure. I got gold off of uh, a very historic dredge. Um, you know, it, it was good time, it was really fun. Uh, I guess those old timers, they cleaned those mats up pretty good. I was hoping maybe they forgot about them, but uh, they didn't. But uh, yeah, uh, even so, I still got some gold. I'm going to put that in a bottle and uh, something I'm always going to remember. Uh, gold from Dredge number six. All right, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Later.